where e-commerce companies are exhibiting for the first time at the East China Fair, and China exporters say they are trying to use online platforms to improve businesses. And ICS reporter Yuan Chengyue tells us more. This hats company from Hebei Province supplies around 300,000 hats to overseas markets such as Europe. And the United States every month, and many of the orders are received through its outlet on Alibaba. Salespeople say e-commerce allows them to reach more potential clients. Sometimes we can receive over 100 inquiries online in a month, and we can also get access to some smaller clients who are declined by bigger factories, getting more orders. Dozens of cross-border e-commerce platforms are taking part in this year's fair. Ranging from retailers who run their own sales sites to service providers who set up sales channels for other companies, organizers hope the platforms will convince more companies to do business online, and buyers are also interested in the change. There is so many advantages because、uh, if I do by myself, then I need to come here frequently from online. Uh, like uh, we can find like a price and the quality and yeah other like uh, uh, maybe cheaper price. Exporters have felt the brunt of a slowing global economy. However, many domestic companies remain positive as they continue working on improving their products and finding new business channels. More exporters are looking to expand their online presence. A company that sells digital accessories. Says going online is a good way to meet more clients and save shipping costs, but it also comes with challenges. Online businesses have high requirements on storage, as you have to keep supplies for clients, and costs can be saved a lot, especially if you can settle storage at the target market. That will be a new challenge for us. But some exhibitors say it doesn't matter if you are online or off; the key to success remains product quality. European and American markets are product-driven. Users often return goods if they are not satisfied. So the core is whether you have different products and competitive skills in designs. It is estimated that China's total turnover on cross-border e-commerce will hit 6.5 trillion yuan this year, a 50 percent increase since 2014. The East China Fair runs until Saturday. Yuan Chengyue, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.